Hey guys, welcome back to Yixar Us and welcome back to another cooking video. So today we're using one of my absolute favorite small appliances in my kitchen, which is the Instant Pod. This guy saved me while we were undergoing our crazy kitchen renovation. So I absolutely love this. If you have an Instant Pot, make sure you let me know down below what are some of your favorite, absolute favorite recipes because I'm always trying new things out. So it's a super yucky day outside. You can't really tell yet, but we are expecting about 25 centimeters of snow, which means it's a day for soup. I know I look like poop today because Nathaniel woke up at 3.30 in the morning and he woke up to sleep. And then also I have a cold. Ginevra feels that sharing is caring and therefore that includes germs. So we're making barbecue pork bone soup. Mm, sounds delicious. Now, a couple reasons why I'm making that. One is I really want soup. And two, it's because I have this beautiful bag of frozen barbecue pork bone in my freezer that I would like to use up. And it is a very simple and easy way to cook lunch. So I filled it up with about nine cups of wad, cold water. And I'm just going to turn it on to manual first. All right. It's just so that I can heat up the water. And at the same time, I'm going to put in the frozen pork bone and we get this like super duper cheap like this entire bag was two bucks you won't believe how much meat i can get off of this bone so you just let that come to a boil first it's going to take a little bit of time and then we'll add in some other ingredients in it. now it's been boiling for maybe about 10 minutes or so because I forgot about it and that was working. I'm going to add in some additional spices. I'm going to add in some onion powder, a teaspoon, garlic powder, about half a teaspoon, just some Chinese five spice. So this is essentially what they use to marinate the barbecue pork with. And I just want to like enhance that flavor a little bit more. So I'll put a bit of that in, not too much, like maybe just about a quarter teaspoon of it. And then I'm also going to throw in two pieces of sliced ginger, a little bit of sugar, and just a bit of salt. Now you can always add more salt, so I'm just going to be a little bit cautious right now because the barbecue pork is also already seasoned. And then take my lid, and what I like to do, because my ring is getting old, I like to run it with some cold water so that it seals better. Close the lid. Then I'm going to put it onto, you can either do super manual, I usually just always do manual, and I'm just going to let that go for 12 minutes. All right, and then I'm going to let it naturally uh, depressurize. So while that depressurizes, I'm going to chop up this head of Napa, and we're going to use that as our vegetable for our soup today. Napa's a very versatile veg. Use it for stir fry, use it for soups. It has a very light flavor. And just overall easy to use. Napa's all cut. I'm gonna wash them out. All right, so it's depressurized for about 40 minutes. It probably would have been okay even at like 30 minutes, but I was busy with the baby. So there's a little bit of pressure left, so I'm gonna let that go. So yeah, about 40 minutes, I guess. Mmm, yummy, yummy. This looks pretty awesome. Mmm, smells good too. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna press the off button and I'm going to strain this into a other container. First, I'm gonna take out all the big stuff. So I'm gonna take out the meat, look at that. And then I'm gonna debone it, or well, I'm gonna separate it and shred it. I have a fresh pot over here ready and a kind of like a, a sieve, a five mesh sieve. And I'm just gonna transfer this over into the pot and then we'll put it back in the Instant Pot. Why I'm doing that is because any little bone fragments, I don't want that in my soup. That on top now and then I'm gonna pour it one more time in just to double catch it. Mmm, 
smelling good. Taste it first. Right now it's a very light brush, so I'm gonna turn it back on to manual again. It actually doesn't need that much. I'm gonna add just a little bit of some light soy sauce. I want to add in the Sir Choi, and this is going to add some extra flavor to it as well. I'm going to let that come to a boil before I add in the noodles. While I do that, I'm going to start separating my pork from the bone into the meat. I'm just going to do that with these babies here, so I can really feel for bones. I'm also gonna pick up the ginger. No one really eats the ginger whole in this house. I did when I was pregnant, not after I had the baby, but I had enough of it at that time. So that's cooking nicely. I have some dumplings frying up on the side. Look at all this meat, all of this for only $2. That's amazing balls. Now that's frugal cooking, guys. So now I'm just gonna add the protein back into the soup stock. So keep letting that cook. And then once that comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in my noodles. All right, soup's and boiling. We're gonna add some noodles. So this is just some somen noodles, but you can use rice noodles if you can't eat wheat. I'm just gonna put a handful in there. I say that would be about good for us. Just dunk it in. I'm choosing these because these cook really fast. <laughs> and I'm hungry. So once it softens, you just need to adjust the taste flavor a little bit and then you're good to eat. The noodles have melted down, I'm gonna taste test it. And now's the time to adjust the flavor a little bit. So it does need a little bit more salt. A little bit of pepper. You can use regular pepper, freshly ground pepper, or white pepper. This is what I just happen to have. My favorite, sesame oil. Sesame oil just makes everything taste good. And it gives it this like beautiful aroma. Once that's done, you just turn it off. Then serve and enjoy. And here it is, my barbecue pork bone Asian noodle soup. Perfect for a cold winter's day <clears throat> and when you feel like you have a cold coming on. So let's taste this step, it smells yummy. Oh, soothing, nice and hot. For me, it's like comfort food. It, it's nice and light, it's brothy, it's soothing for my throat, it's not spicy. It just has a little hint of ginger, which is actually really soothing. <laughs> um, and if you want, you can also make a lot of variations with this. You can make it uh, a little bit more um, uh, full-bodied by adding like some shiitake mushrooms at the very beginning and let that boil through so you have some extra umami flavor coming through there. You can also use like vegetable stock or chicken stock. Um, if you have that on hand, I just wanted to use whatever I had on hand in my freezer. It is tasty. It is yummy. It is light. You get that little bit of five spice and the noodles are nice and thin so they are just easy to eat. You can also add some hot oil if you want, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to irritate my throat anymore. Thanks so much for joining me on this little food adventure, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you do give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I'll see you guys next video. Love you. Bye. Look at those dumplings. Oh, yum.